Hi everybody, this is Yogi Angel, so I'm Rachel, uh, sorry, Rachel for uh, Think On It Now. And i um, going to try to finish the vlog. This is part two. So, yeah, I thought I was going to be able to get that vlog done, and being a mom, I couldn't. I had to take care of other things. So I always try to make sure that whatever I'm doing isn't going to stress out whoever I'm with. So it's like way later in the day, as I'm sure you can tell from the sunlight coming in. So whatever that looks like as far as what you need for yourself personally, physically to feel well. Um, I talked about exercise, I talked about nutrition, and those are going to look different to everybody. Um, sleep is really a matter that's crucial to parents because we lose a lot of sleep. I actually found out that I had a sleeping disorder and um, taking care of that was a huge part of making my health uh, a lot better. And I'm sure I was less grouchy when I was sleeping better. <laughs> So that's huge. Um, so that's all the physical stuff. The mental stuff, like I said, I just started to touch on it. What nurtures you? Um, I think when people think about what they love to do and what really feeds them, what really makes them feel so happy and they get to to do what works for them in life. Sometimes they make it their profession and sometimes they don't. And that is definitely aside from um, being a mother and being married, but for some people that is actually what nurtures them. I know for me, what nurtures me is music. Um, so music is a huge part of my family and I came from a very musical family. Um, both of my parents were musicians. So having like music time in the day, <laughs> setting aside like the afternoon is usually um, for people to practice their instruments, just having that sound in the house, that lively sound of people practicing, even if we're not playing something together, is very much a part of how I feel comfortable in the house just because I'm so used to being around musicians and music and listening to people tune their instruments and just everything about it is very soothing to me. So when I make that a part of what I do in the day, um, it makes things a lot easier. So, okay, then the other part I was going to touch on is how you juggle everything so that everyone's needs get met. That is always in flux and question. Um, and I really like to use the principle of taking care of yourself first so that you can care for others, just like that idea that's expressed when you go up in the air and the, the flight attendant is talking about put the mask on yourself first. I think that's really huge. So sometimes I will wake up two hours ahead of whenever I know everybody's going to get up, even if that means four or five o'clock in the morning. Just so I can have that time to myself to take a shower, put on makeup, to exercise, just get that head space, whatever it is that I need to do for the day so that when I'm constantly being distracted by everything that I need to take care of for everyone else's needs to be met, I've already, you know, started from a place where I'm good. And sometimes I'll do a little of that at night, but I try not to stay up too late because you never know um, how much sleep you might get in case kids are sick in the middle of the night. So there's Zev saying hi. Anyway, he's going to go have supper, so I'm going to probably join him. And I hope I covered everything. <laughs> but if I didn't, maybe there'll be a part three. And, um, yeah, if you have any ideas about that or ones you'd like to share about what you've done to make um, all that work, i got to go. My husband's calling. <laughs>